Oh, hello, it is John Mayer, the John Mayer. He has also earned eight number ones in the U.S. on Billboard's top five. Here at the Annie Cohen Walk of Star Hall of Fame award ceremony. Did you know that? Hollywood Boulevard. His latest album, Sob Rock, debuted at number one on Billboard's top album sales. Charity. He is a lead member of Dead and Company with three original members of the Grateful Dead, and they do hear Big Deadhead, so... And he is the world's most influential watch collector. I just. I'm sorry. Oh, don't. I got really no, no more trucks, please. And we got white He doesn't trucks. have any watches with him right now. Please help me welcome to the stage John Mayer. <laughs> That's just what I was thinking. Move that truck, yes. People across the street. Woo! That was live. Yes! Oh, we are here today to honor Andy Cohen with his very own star, Hollywood Walker. Oh. Honoring his enormous contributions to the world of entertainment. And Andy is a classic entertainer. That's not to say that celebrities in the modern era can't be or treated. In fact, those are some of Andy's favorites. But it's not about the truth of the celebrity. But to be a true entertainer in today's day, you have an extremely rare position because it is a massive commitment to the world and the entertainer's place in it. Life at its heart is transactional. You try to earn more than you spend, you experience more joy than disappointment more hope than you can discourage me. Uh -oh. And if you're lucky, you win the day by a thin margin, just in time to start the whole game over again. But like the greatest entertainers of all time, Andy Cohen widens that margin. He pieces the burden of life. His voice on radio, his charm uh -oh. on his night and late night talk show, and his reality TV dynasty. That's all my goal. Much need to bring your sunshine <laughs> into our lives. Making our morning drives. There we go, it's the bus. Allowing us to be able to a friend up there among the Hollywood stars. Because Andy really is the world's friend. I've walked with him down city streets and been on FaceTime with him as he goes about. Well, of course, I mean, the devil's advocate, I would debate that. He but... said hello to you, just like a friend. <laughs> What's up, Andy? Andy. Give me a shot. <laughs> Hi, Andy. I love what you said about de Blasio. He's also my friend. My dear friend. And there are times in life... Just Mommy dearest. <laughs> For example, when Homeland Security shows up to the media and friends like the Southern Lord Jones, will you be a Heather Gay or a Lisa Bonner? <laughs> Andy is forever. Uh, Heather oh. He is utterly original. He consults with nobody when wondering what's oh, funny, wow. what's compelling, what's suitable, what's sad. He's a war breaker. He's an opposition. A Madonna stand and a deckhead. He's an A-lister. He parties like a B-lister with the free spirit of a seed. He moves through all levels and truly appreciates each and every person he comes in contact with. He belongs just a little to every culture and can connect with anyone from any walk of life. And he has something that any politician would give everything they have, the public's trust. I love Andy more than I can tell him. He's a brilliant human being hilarious cohort, a loving son and brother, and more recently he's become a proud, engaged, and deeply devoted. He's an incredible and missing culture of traits, traits you normally have to find in six to ten other already rare. He has the effortless suave of George Clooney, <sighs> the gravitas of young Dan Rather, the fearlessness of Howard Stern, topped off with just a dash of Paul Lynn. Okay, four minutes, that's enough.